name is Emilio Ines, and I'm the director of destination of for WorkKids. Uh, for WorkKids is a, it's an organization that basically specializes in providing um, insights about the number and the, the amount and the um, characteristics of the visitors to destinations worldwide. The way we do that is basically by analyzing uh, air reservations uh, done through travel agencies around the world. We basically receive 17 million uh, reservations time, uh, uh, every day and uh, from 180,000 uh, different uh, travel agencies. So that allows us to build a very uh, global understanding of what's happening with every, every, time, uh, every, every type of destination. They allow us to understand the type of the visitors, the profile of the visitors, and because we analyze both reservations and arrivals, we are able to provide you information both from the past, the past performance, and also about the future performance based in real, uh, what we call forward bookings, in real bookings. So that's the information that we're going to be using for the, for the analysis that we did, uh, we, uh, we have done today. So if we can go to the end, next slide. We basically, when we talk about uh, the the travel ecosystem uh, basically involves a, a, a large amount of verticals. So you can see we work with financials, retailers, uh, theme parks, uh, luxury brands, uh, hotels. But the main one uh, at the moment is well, the moment and the core one uh, since the, since forward is started were destinations. We work around 45 destinations around the world in basically every single continent. Um, so, uh, based to uh, Caribbean, uh, basically we are going to do a quick analysis about the past and about the future of the region. Uh, as uh, it was mentioned already, uh, Caribbean is, is an interesting fact uh, because the record, the record performance in the past, but the, the, the tragic events of the hurricanes. Uh, there is a perception in the media that uh, the, the Caribbean was, uh, the entire Caribbean was affected, but we can see that there are two parts. Obviously, one was affected, and we are in, currently in the, in the road to recovery, but there's a large uh, amount of uh, destinations that they are still open for business, and these ones are going to be the focus of, of our analysis. So the ones that are open and ready to work, and uh, we're going to analyze the performance and basically how the future looks like for this. So when we go to the, um, to the year to date, uh, analysis. We can see that basically the, the international to the region, that means uh, uh, flights from outside the Caribbean, we exclude the inter, inter, inter destinations in the Caribbean flights, it grew by 4.3 percent uh, in total. And we are saying these are the reservations to travel agencies. Uh, we see that uh, Globally, the Americas grew, uh, was stable and grew around 2.3%, which is, uh, is not as much as the rest of the world. We see, uh, for example, the, the performance of Europe. We see Europe, uh, America represents 70% of the market. Uh, Europe represents 28% of the market. It grew 9.5%. Africa is a negligible uh, amount, but still it grew 19% and Asia Pacific it grew by 12.7%. So we see, we see that basically the international, uh, the long haul, uh, the long haul markets are actually uh, having a very uh, positive, uh, positive performance in the past. We can see, when we see per countries, we see that in Europe there were uh, uh, growing performances despite the, the, the hurricanes. So we see France grew 11%, UK 14%, the decline, a small decline in Germany, uh, but uh, growth, uh, growth in Italy, growth in, in, in Netherlands. So Europe performed very well. Uh, Asia Pacific, we see that there are some, some uh, source market that actually they were very interesting. We can see Hong Kong or India or China that they are growing really, uh, really, really strongly. So, um, when we go to the results up to the date, we see we can find top five uh, growing Caribbean destinations. As you can see, it was Barbados, Cuba, uh, Guadalupe, Aruba, and uh, Haiti, so performing exceptionally well in this uh, period of time. Um, now we can moving from that, we are going to pass from uh, the analysis 
the historical analysis to the, um, to the what is going to happen in the six months. So we can see that despite the hurricanes, uh, European people keep going to the Caribbean, and we uh, we see that there are a two percent uh, growth with regards to the same situation last year. We see that there are some countries that are doing especially well, like it can be uh, Spain, France, or Netherlands. Um, others that are more or less flat, like it could be UK and Italy, and we see two, um, two markets that are uh, unfortunately not working as well as before, they were uh, Germany and uh, Switzerland. When we see the when we make an analysis of the air capacity, so the number of seats that the airlines are planning to provide uh, to this, uh, to this uh, for, from this source market to the Caribbean destinations, we actually we see that they, they follow pretty much the trends of the of the of the on the of the reservations. So we can see that uh, France is increasing 8.2 percent. If we go backwards, we see that the, the growth in reservations was 8.1. We see um, United Kingdom 1.7. Germany was the one that was having a big decline. Uh, Germany and Switzerland. We see that actually capacity reflects that. So we can be maybe in front of a situation of a bottleneck in terms of uh, capacity to bring German people to to uh, to the Caribbean. So this is uh, basically the the main point that we see. We can. We, as it was mentioned before, we can see that actually, the, despite the hurricanes, the, the performance is expected to remain positive. Maybe not as positive as the record-breaking figures in the past, but it's still uh, very, very positive. So these are uh, basically, uh, I, I, we added in the presentation a small um, summary of findings, so you can review after, but you will receive the presentation. And uh, that's uh, basically everything. Um, I'm open to answer questions after after the meeting, and of course, if you're interested in this in this data, don't hesitate to come. Thank you very much.